The Stolen Earth and Journey's End, 9 out of 10. The Earth is moved to another galaxy by a strange force, placing it within a cluster of other 20 other planets, millions of light years away. The culprit, Davros, creator of the Daleks, who returns for the first time in 20 years. Harriet Jones, former Prime Minister, finds a way to reunite all the Doctor's allies to fight the reality bomb that Davros wants to uh, use to destroy all of reality, starting a new universe populated by his crackpot creations. Much like the old specials of the classic series, such as the Three Doctors and the Five Doctors, this series finale, excluding the specials, is a celebration of just how far the new series has come since it exploded back onto our screens three years earlier. All the companions and spin-offs are brought together in probably the most lavish and certainly the most grand double parter yet. It's great to see the characters from Torchwood and the Sarah Jane adventures, and especially the return of Davros, who's played with a gloriously sinister quality by Julian Bleach. I'd even go so far as to say this is the best portrayal of the genius come psychopath that I've seen, and as a huge fan of the classic series it takes me a lot for me to say that. Sneering and unhinged, Bleach is perfectly cast as one of the Doctor's most iconic foes. The suspense is consistent and both parts are gripping. The end of the first part in particular, where Sarah Jane, Gwen and Iento all face extermination and the Doctor is on the br brink of regeneration, is the most exciting cliffhanger since the return of the Master in the previous series. The end of the second part is both touching and exciting, as the Doctor must say goodbye to all his companions once more, in particular Rose, who he leaves with his clone back in the parallel universe, created from the severed hand from the Christmas Invasion episode. You might have to watch the serial for all this to make sense. Donna, who joins, the do joins with the Doctor's regenerative energy when the clone is created, both imparts her own character on the clone and takes on the Doctor's knowledge. And if I thought Donna was annoying, nothing would prepare me for Donna with the fast-talking intellect of the Doctor. To be fair, though, when she eventually has to have her memory and knowledge wiped by the Doctor to prevent her human brain from being, being overwhelmed, the final scene is pretty tragic. It reminded me of the heartbreaking last scene of the second Doctor's companion, Zoe and, companions Zoe and Jamie, who have all their memories of their adventures wiped at the end of the war games, and this was just as upsetting, even for a companion I struggled to like. Inevitably, the serial goes a little over the top on occasion, and the grand scale of the action makes it difficult to connect with on an intimate level with the characters. You've got to admire the scope of Russell T Davis for trying, though, and this is easily the best of those sort of celebratory episodes yet, including the classic era, and it's an epic geek fest for any fans of the old or the new show.